Well known as the city's neon colored nightlife hotspot, the scene on the Granville Strip is shifting. We're currently dealing with not just the traditional issues and the challenges that we face with the bars and the clubs, but also a lot of public safety issues related to um, uh, addiction, mental health, antisocial behavior, um, violent behavior. Over the past two weeks, a shooting left a 32-year-old man with life-threatening injuries. A store employee was attacked with bear spray during a robbery at London Drugs. A man was arrested after police say he took a gun into a pub. And most recently, a stabbing outside a bar at Granville in Smythe. What we've been seeing is more and more people who are using weapons, physical force, um, whether it be bear spray, knives, needles, guns, real or fake. Along with the rise in violence, some parts of the streets are lined with garbage. A recent survey from Good Night Out Vancouver found 89% of 231 respondents feel unsafe in the Granville Entertainment District. It's not safe, it's dirty, it's... You don't really know who you're going to run into. Um, there's just a lot of uncertainty. This woman lives in the neighborhood. She says she's been chased home by strangers and had to duck in stores and restaurants. Um, I definitely, I don't walk down this street that often. It's a very rare occasion. The VPD says more officers will be patrolling the area and targeted enforcement will focus on those deemed chronic repeat offenders. Councillor Sarah Kirby Young says safety is her number one priority for the neighborhood. And you want to make sure that people feel that they can go out and enjoy themselves, whether it's during the day or the nighttime. To that end, the city is planning an 18 month Granville Street planning program aimed at cultural and economic revitalization between Robson and Drake Streets. It will look at ways to increase hotel developments and improve rezoning policies and allow for time to make upgrades to social housing units in the area. Council will vote on the report at the end of January. So separate from the planning initiative, we are investing additionally in providing support for street cleanup and sanitation. Moves she hopes will bring a safe hustle and bustle back to Granville Street. Janella Hamilton, CBC News, Vancouver.